So today, well, really tonight, we're working inside. Ran out of light. We're gonna make a attempt to make a prop controller control all of the lighting and sound in one room. Now, this uh, this is a nice four channel prop controller from uh, Tim Thompson. It was my Scuba Spook One. Um, bought this from him. It's got four relays. He tells me each relay handles 10 amps. Um, and so with this, it is programmable. You can punch buttons here, and it also comes with a remote to that you can program it ex kind of on a Cat 6 cable and once it's in place. So I'm going to try and make this control these. We got a gang box, this, plenty of extension cords, something to power everything, a couple of plug covers, of course this, our prop controller, and Sterilite container. Now, you can see I've already done some prep work here and uh, got the hole cut out. Um, this is all going to be housed in one container, so I can pull it out next year if I want to do the same trick and that container we set up, it'll program be ready to go. Um, I already took some face plates because this style gang box does not come with face plates that fit these plugs. Um, it comes with the square openings to fit on here, but I don't I already had these plugs. I wasn't going to go and buy another $20 worth of plugs just for a different faceplate. So I just cut the edge off with a Dremel tool off of two sides. And so that they will both fit on there. So um, I'm going to start putting this together and explain things as we go. First thing I want to do make some room. Get our gang box installed. <laughs> I needed to get my hot glue gun because um, this is, you see, I've got stuff going in, so, um, you know, and this power strip wants to waddle around and slide all over the place, and, and it's just driving me crazy, so I'm going to hot glue this down now. Normally, I take my, uh, prop controller here, and, uh, I get these at back to school time when they're like 50 cents, and I put them inside of here, and then have a hole in the side where my power and everything goes in and uh, all my controller wires come out to my prop uh, and I'll I'll put these you know put a little tape around them whatever they, they keeps keeps this from getting wet so to uh, I'm not gonna put it inside of here because it's going in here but I also don't want it sitting on the bottom because for some reason if water ever gets in this you know, this, it's going to have to be deeper than this power strip to affect the power strip. So, um, I assume that, well, if I hot glue it down and then put this box in here, which, you know, 50 cents, and stick this over here and just glue these into place, it, it's going to be better for me. And then it gives me a little room to work for the box. So... Let's go ahead and run our cords now. This cord, we're going to undo the twist ties on it, but we're going to end up cutting a lot of it off. Um, we stop the tea. We don't need that end. We'll just lop that off. Now, 
We need a uh, line this relay going right to left with box plug right to left so I know this is going to be one, two, three, four, just like the program buttons are one, two, three, four. So um, I think I'll start over here and plug that in. Now I need to split the jacket apart. Um, one side of this is going to go into the relay and back out and then the whole thing is going to go into plug number one and then we'll wire up the plug. And because I've done this before, not this, I electrocuted myself. I am not an electrician. I am, I am not an electrician. I don't even know if this is going to work. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't, you can burn down my house. Yeah. I said in a previous video, uh, a mine shaft tunnel. I'm not an electrician. I may burn down my house one day. So, if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. not so awesome. If I burn down my house, really crappy, not awesome. But, if you do this and you follow my instructions, you do it at your own risk. <laughs> I ain't no electrician, so let's Three more to go. All right, so, okay. So here's the inside of our setup. As you can see, we've got the power strip run out, all of our plugs. So the plugs run from the power strip over to now I, I set these up so that this is reload this is relay one two three and four so that I can keep track of them by plugs and by relay so we have relay one in the back wire runs all the way to here So you come up from underneath and then we split the jacket. Now the jacket is split. This one has a continuous feed. This one was cut. Now this is my continuously on plug here. This is my continuously on relay. So here's the one that I'm talking about. When you look down over this, let me get a good shot of this here. You have this one under here, it says C. This is your common. Over here, you have NO for normally open, and C for normally closed. So here we have common and normally closed. So this is going to give us a continuously on circuit. So when you go to program your prop, this is relay number one, plug number one. It's continuously on. Now, we go back in and we have relay two, three, and four. 
we're gonna go common normally closed sorry yep sorry normally open there we go almost got it backwards again so we have common normally open this is going to be a off plug off and off so these three will be activated when we do this right here is your programming buttons for this board now once the programming is done so when i hit program or record i'm going to make these plugs do what i want by pushing these buttons now relay one is always on so when i push this button it will turn off two three and four are always off and when i push these buttons they will come on um so i'm going to turn this around this cat six cable here the cat five cable actually is going to it goes to a remote the remote is going to allow me to program this without sticking my hands inside the box. And here's what the remote looks like. So you can see on the remote, you've got the record and the four buttons. Now these, you'll see one says volume up, volume down, set up and test. Um, you can actually, once you're done recording, you'll hit record, you'll program your buttons. When you're done with your programming, hit record and it'll stop. The setup portion, uh, Scuba Spook 1, which is Tim Thompson, has a great video on his uh, YouTube page, um, just like going through all of the setup and the test. So I would encourage you to go to his YouTube channel and look up these setups because I'm not going to go through that. And it actually has voice activated prompts and you can set how long you want the prop to run how long you want it to pause in between um, activations if you're running off of a, a, a PIR sensor. So that's a good video to watch. It's actually what I go back and reference that video every time I set these up. So let's flip this around and run a test mode. Okay, so here's our test setup. We're all set up, we're ready to go. Um, clamp lights are just for demonstration purposes here um, they're all plugged in to my constantly on and then these three here are off so when I turn this on light one will come on like that so now we're powered on these three will stay off until triggered so let's enter a, uh, a simple recording so we're gonna hit the record button and that's it done recording finished hitting record now, I'll give this a second and uh, let the recording sit for reset, ready to ready to test. Um, but I think we've got enough light with this. I don't, was going to turn off my shop lights, but I'm going to leave them on for now. So um, let's try. There is number four as a test. So if we hit the test, we should see the lights start to flicker. So I got blue LED in this one and this one. There we go. So it's a simple program. It's uh, fairly indicative of what I'm going to actually do with this box. Uh, I am going to use it to control lighting. Um, I want lights to come on and off at different times in a specific area. So using this setup, I can plug in 
extension cords, such as these clamp light cords, these, you know, the thinner two wire extension cords, ungrounded. I can plug these in, run them to different lights, and then make the lights go off in sequence of however I like when someone enters in an area. Um, 